Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you. Hey everybody, how are you? How are you? How are you? I'm over here flirting with my wife. I flirt with her all the time. All day long, I'm flirting with this woman. Yes, it's true. I'm flirting with her. And so, Landa Pack, you're here. Join. Good. Great. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to all who are joining from here, near and far. You have reached your destination point for the evening. Dr. Willie Jolly and D. Taylor Jolly with the Jolly Marriage Show. Based on our book, our popular marriage book, Make Love, Make Money, Make It Last. 10 Secrets to Shape a Great Marriage. Now, we do have a great marriage, really good marriage. We don't argue, no drama. We just have, we really do have fun. And we celebrate our new little grandson. We were over there feeding him yesterday. We have three grandchildren. Yes, we do. But why say our new little one? We love the big ones, but they grown. We can't, we can't feed them no more and, and burp them and, Smell that baby smell. Y'all know that baby smell, don't you? Woo! Anyway, welcome everybody to the Jolly Mary Show. This is my beautiful bride, D. Taylor Jolly. Ugh, she turns me on. Anyway, about 38, 40 years. You've been wild. 40 yeah. years. That's how I got you. Am I right? You've been wild. Wasn't that wild when I got you? You are. Let's focus. Focus. Yes. Focus on you. Let's focus. Wow. 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 Anyway, we are grateful for all of you who join us. If you're first time, is welcome. We talk about marriage, relationships, the good, the bad, the ugly, and how to improve on all of the above. If you're good, we want you to be great. If you're great, we want you to be super great. If you're bad, we want to fix it and get you good. And if you're ugly, ooh, ooh, ooh. Now we got an ugly one. We got a kind of ugly. So we're going to deal with it. We always invite you, the viewer, to send us an email at info at willyjolly.com. Send us an email with your concerns, issues, whatever. Well, we got one. Ooh. And this is not. So you can submit your questions. And we will provide our best answer advice. We don't always agree. Nope. And then some resources. Okay. Yeah. So it's complicated. The topic is porn. Ooh, pornography. pornography. Yeah. Ooh, ooh. So it's we, a difficult topic that he really, yeah. when the question came in, the he question, went, um, uh, I, I had question whether I wanted to do it or not because it's a, it's a complicated, it's a, it's a loaded conversation. Why is it loaded? Because there's so many points. What? Well, let's. I, we'll, I'll tell you when we get into it. Let's talk about it. Okay, and I'll tell you why. So not. I did some. You, you okay, the really question is. About, a okay, lady, here's a, here's okay. here's the question. Okay. I'm ashamed to say that I was snooping in my husband's phone. Mm. He's viewing porn, mm. and he's calling 800 numbers for conversation. So she. I guess really delved into his phone quite a bit. Mm. Mm. He's a deacon in our church. Mm. And I can't go to the pastor. I don't want to out him and embarrass him, me and my family. And I'm ashamed. I can't even sleep. What should I do? Mm. Okay. That, that's quite a, when you say that's a look, there's that's so, I, yeah, that's there's so a many little. pieces to unpack. And first, I feel really bad. That is so. Oh, it, in the sense that she's got to feel bad. And I think the first thing that comes to mind when women talk about these issues of, of why my mate is doing this, what is wrong? First thing is, what is wrong with me? Mm -hmm. am, am I not fulfilling? That's where it gets loaded. Why do they resort to porn? Are they not getting fulfilled at home? It's complicated. It's complicated. See, that's why I said this thing is loaded. It's loaded. Let me start by saying, because I'm, I'm being emphasis. It's emphasis. 
I can't talk. I can't talk, so and be emphasis. I can't. Be. Let me say for emphasis what I have said to my son. Sonny boy, I know your friends tune on, turn on the porn. You know, when I was growing up, men collected Playboy magazines and hid them in, under the couch. And that was porn, right? Yeah, it's soft porn. But now it's hard porn. But here's the thing about porn. It goes along with a, uh, a quote I heard. Bad habits are easy to develop and hard to break. Good habits are hard to develop and hard to break. So you must be committed to your habits of being good habits, hard, bad habits. Porn is a, is a slippery slope. So I said to my son, son, don't indulge. Don't, don't indulge. Don't, don't get caught up. Don't even start. Because once you start, you want more. It's, 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 it's like... Peanuts, what are salty peanuts? You can't stop. Salty popcorn. Salty popcorn. Mm -hmm. popcorn. What might be peanuts? Popcorn, peanuts, popcorn. salt. It's the salt mm -hmm. that makes you want more. I said, don't do it. Because once you get in, it's hard to get out. Oof. It's the, it's the dopamine. So, of yes. course, yep. it's I've dopamine. done some background. All right, why don't you tell us what it is? So, and I say that that is complicated. So, I dealt with the logical things first. Well, what is porn? Because everybody's talking. When you when you raise a question on the internet, oh my God, stuff comes up from it it it, it is like overwhelming. You say, what is porn? Is is sexually explicit material that is designed to excite and entice you sexually, and to be addictive, it's and to be, to be addictive. and designed to be addictive, mm -hmm. which to me is like what I was saying about what I was listening to on the news about how social media gets you addicted. It's have you ever seen have you ever seen porn? I'm, I'm sure. I, well, Playboy magazine. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I remember when I was a college student. But it's designed. Number yeah. one, porn and is I, designed to get you addicted. Yes. And I went with my buddy to help him move to Chicago, we drove. Mm -hmm. And when I got there, he had his apartment, he had been going back and forth. He said, I'm gonna let you see this video. Debbie does Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 she did the whole Dallas team or something? She did Dallas. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I realized, I, I don't need, this is not good for my spirit. So I don't watch the, uh, scary movies and horror flicks and stuff like that. I don't do it because I don't want anything. I've, I've always had that mindset. That I guess it's something inside of me that said, I want I want the good, the, the pure, the powerful, the positive as part of my lifestyle. And if it, if it doesn't do that, then it's something that feels off kilter. So that is why I say to my son and the young man, don't start because it, 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 it creates a desire that's that's not that's you start not. down the rabbit hole. The yeah. research says okay, okay. several. The research says that the average age, the average age for um, viewing porn is between eighteen and thirty-four. Then mm. that's of the people who have reported it, because you've got like you're like where do these statistics come from? You've got Pew Pew P E W S who seems to. Do, do all the research on, on everything. Mm -hmm. So they interviewed, you know, their sample was 2,000 young men um, between the ages of, I guess, this demographic. And, and in terms of their respondents, 18 to 34 tended to be the dominant age range. But this particular lady with the husband who is a deacon and everything, I mean, he's well old, older than 34 years of age. Correct. So, so, what, so what's our advice to that person? Now that we tell them, you shouldn't. You shouldn't let yourself get into there because. But you already are. But you're already there. Now what? Millions of 
there are millions of people who are. Yep. Then I, before I even got to that, can I get to my other information? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I want can to get to the point. Can I get to my other information? Because you would go. You, because it's not just, okay, so what do you do? I think you have to lay out the, the, the whole lay of the land. The different kinds of porn. You ask me, have I ever seen porn? Well, yeah, I've seen I've seen the magazines, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And I have seen some in like moving and everything. I don't even know where, but I ran across this little paperback book. I don't even know where I was that had uh, sensuous like storytelling, you know, mm -hmm. situations. I don't, I don't even know where that was. Okay. I was like, where? Anyway. So my exposure to that has been through the, the the magazine stuff. But you've got images, you've got video. I didn't, I didn't realize you had audio porn. Really? Oh, I guess that's the people who oh, call on the phone. Yeah, they call on the phone mm. with the moans and all the other kind of stuff. And they pay for that. Yes. Whew. Yes. All right. That's part of the, you get them addicted mm. and then they continue to pay. Mm -hmm. Then you've got, of course, live porn, which is going to <laughs> the private kind of nightclub. The strip club. Like yes. The, right. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. None of that. And none of that. So, so that's the, the basic types. Um, and then they have, they have some, what are the characteristics of porn? I, I had like no clue. You got fantasy and escapism. Mm. They create fantasy and escapism. And so once you start doing that, they say that's how you get hooked. Then you want more of it. Then it's like if if you have sexual intercourse with your mate or somebody else, it's not the same fulfilling kind of fantasy that that you're viewing. It's in your brain. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It, 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 garbage it, in, garbage stays. No, most people say garbage in, garbage out. No, no, garbage in, garbage actually stays in there. And so that's why you got to be careful what you allow in your brain. I'm very careful what I watch, what I listen to, what I read. I am very careful about what enters in my eye gates, my ear gates, my heart gate, because it has an impact. Garbage in, garbage done, and now is garbage stays. Okay, so, that, so let's deal with, okay, so now, so so what now the, we got what it is. Okay. We've got that the average age of people who were willing to report what was going on, right? Mm -hmm. Between like 18, 34 or something, but we know old people are, are doing that, right? Yeah. Then we get to, well, why? So before I think you can get to, well, here's my solution, because I don't really think there's one thing. My question is, why are you doing it? Why? As, as, a, as a woman, as a wife, as a mother, how would I feel? Mm. So I would want to know, you know me, I'm the study. I, I want to analyze it. I would want to know why you're doing it instead of just, oh my God, you're doing it. I would want to know why. Sometimes they don't know why they do it. It's but I would, but it's cultural. I, but, uh, why, did, why did men get Playboy magazines? It was cultural. Everybody, all, of, all the old But maybe I, they could articulate that. I'm saying it's still necessary to have open communication and that's very difficult. All right, but well, we got to get okay, to soon sexual. how to help this lady. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, now okay. you're going to get the whole thing. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> so uh, curiosity, exploration, um, boredom, um, in a, the inability to perform, um, uh, shyness, um, feeling like, I, I might not be able to measure up. Mm. All of those are reasons. All of those are reasons why as I went down the, the rabbit hole of looking at why people do it. Sometimes people are so stressed and they want they want relaxation and they don't want to have to deal with another par a partner, a, a physical partner where you have to invest, right? It's right. like, okay, I just want to get laid. I don't, I, I don't want to go through kissing you. <laughs> I don't want to go. And Oh, we should evening. Oh, it's good. Yeah, I just want to get late. And sometimes immediate gratification is, oh, I'll just have the have the erotic and have that by viewing it, and I can get my satisfaction. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there are always okay. uh, uh, there are a lot of ways to go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, maybe you're not, and then. Maybe you're not satisfied with your partner mm. and you and you don't know how to express it. Or maybe how your partner makes love is it, just not working for you mm. and you don't know what to do. 
Mm. So instead of making them feel worse, right, or making them feel better, not knowing how to articulate that, because we talk about in most relationships, it's the lack of communication. You don't know how to do it. Mm. So just instead of dealing with that, you know what? I'll do it. I'll, I'll work on myself. I'll take mm. care of myself. Mm. So there you go. Mm. Wow. Those are the what I see as the primary reasons based upon what I've read. Okay. So okay? just as they say that when you start gambling, and now they've made gambling so easy on your phone that they, they always give you this little... It's to, all of these things are to encourage you to do it so that they, the people who make money, can make more money. Yes. And now porn is free on your phones on a lot of places to lure you well, into it. get you initially. In, initially. Then it, it drives you to more. You want, you want the rest of the story. Then you go to a paid site and they got your credit card and it keeps going. And that's so. Then I, when you discover what you've done, then, then, then you're embarrassed. Then when, if you're, you when know, you your hook wife, your, 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 your family spouse, members, they, they yeah. find out what are you going to do? So let me say what the lady should say to her husband. First, she should not criticize. People get addicted. And it, and it has it has a, a dopamine impact on their brain, mm -hmm. and they become to a point where they can't help themselves. It feels good, and you want that feeling again and again. And so they again. need help. So that's why I'm like, the background information is important to just start hollering and screaming about you're doing this. That one hollering you know, and screaming won't make it go away. It, 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 it might make them feel them bad. But it won't make and it And then better. they'll hide it even more. That's right. So they need help. That's why we get sex, ther sex therapists. Mm -hmm. Look into getting a, a sex therapist in your area, ma'am. And discuss the sex therapist with the sex, sex therapist how they recommend getting this person to get past so you're saying the spouse should go, the, the, the wife should go to the sex therapist. Yeah, to, to have a conversation with the sex therapist. Mm. Revenant, not dragging screen, the husband. Not drag, not till you know what the, the process will be. Because then she can lovingly, mm. carefully, calmly mm. speak to the husband and say, and, and the sex therapist might give some insight as to why the husband and doing now. No well, way. they they have yeah. met with the husband. Yeah, but they might give what the tendencies are. What are the what the the st statistics show? What the research shows? This is the people. This is the reason people start doing this. Mm -hmm. well, for what some of the things you said, but they might say, "Tell me a little more about your husband. Mm -hmm. Tell me is he is he stressed out? Is he worked overworked? Da, 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 da. He bored with what his, kind of relationship do you guys? That's have? right. Mm -hmm. they, and finally get it, and then go to the husband and say. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it and figure out how we can move past this. Okay? And a, a conversation, counseling, therapy, and and lovingly. And that's why I wanted to say, don't holler and scream and freak out. And, and, and I came up it with it. It doesn't a, make it any better. No, I, 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 where do you come I up came up with it. That friends first is chapter number one in our book. Friends first, because friends, when you're friends in your marriage, you tend to win in your marriage. And when there's drama, it creates trauma, which creates distance. Mm. And distance is never good, because then people shut down, they don't communicate, they don't, they're not open, and nothing is resolved. No, because they won't. They won't tell you. No, because you're already hollering and screaming. Right. So, do you want? Are you going to communicate with somebody who's hollering and screaming? No. You, 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 it makes you want to shut. You shut down. You shut down. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. You shut down. Don't communicate, and then nothing gets resolved. Mm -hmm. It's and you create more distance. And mm -hmm. it just creates worse, a worse situation. 
So that is why we say try and fix the problem while it's small. But if it's not still small, at least attack it where it is. If this person, your spouse, has this porn addiction, it's an addiction, it's in the brain now, they need to have a process to get it off their, out of their brain and out of their life. And but first you have to deal with whether or not they want to do that, right? They don't want to do it. Once you discover, okay, oh my God. I, I, they got this my thing. My spouse is in. But you got to get to you them got, to talk to you first. A, you can't start. Well, hollering. you want, no, Holland won't do it. Holland won't. So, so what if they say, oh, I mean, you have to create an environment where you, know, you can talk to each other. Right. And they might say, you know what? I'm not doing it that often. And I really enjoy it. Because they do things in there, and I have a fantasy of what I like, and you're not doing that for me. Let's what talk do you do with that? Then you talk about it. Then you both go to the sex therapy. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, sex therapy is a, a valid, viable tool to help you in your marital relationships. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, sometimes they call um, porn marital AIDS. Have you ever heard that? No, I have not. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Marital for AIDS. It, it used to be a store down in Georgetown called. Um, oh, you the, mean a pornography store calls it, it marital AIDS? Yeah, it's called, called the Pleasure Chest. It's no longer there. Oh, I, I it's it was near the canal. Right, the corner, right on the, the right, right on the corner next to the canal. Oh, and it, and and it was called the Pleasure Chest. And it, and of course, when we were teenagers, or not teenagers, you know, you know, college guys, we going in there to see. They got whips and and chains. And I took a class in college on uh, sex. It was a sex class. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it was. Did you, did you teach it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> That was a good one. That was good. <laughs> okay. That was good. And so it was a sex class, and, and they discussed. Uh, well, wasn't I, I bet you had lots of people in that class. It was it was crowded, but they told showed movies of the different sex acts. That oh, they, you know what? That's another reason why they say that uh, pornography is popular because those you know all men talk about how how how, how big they are, mm -hmm. how many times they did it, and everything. And then if you're talking about eight like eighteen to thirty, well, many of them have not had. Sexual encounters. Yes. So they go online to learn some of the basics because they're afraid that they won't be stumbling able to through with that That's right. the initial thing. They won't. They won't know what to do. Right. Their performance will be yeah. embarrassing. Yeah. So, ma'am, I wanted to get this in before. Okay. I so go ahead. You went to the. You had a class about. And they sex. had sexual. And they call it marital aids. They sometimes call it marital aids. Uh -huh. So we went down to the pleasure chest. And you know, you know and, and class, yeah. And we walked around. It was a, it was a show and tell. And really? A, yeah, because it was S and M. You know what S and M is? No. Sado masochism. So were you beating each other yeah. and enjoying it? Yeah. I don't get that. <laughs> and they had a, all sorts of other hurting each other. What we would call deviant behavior, but it's part of a oh, culture. Oh, you're so smart. Is this what you learned in? This, 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 I learned that in college. This is but I, in seminary. <laughs> deviant sexual behavior. Huh? Yeah, you know, there's like, all sorts of things that could be. Uh, <laughs> and, and so, well, but here's what I'm saying. I want to get what? to that. I'm not going to deem it deviant. I'm going to call it different. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that sexual aids or marital aids or whatever, they are part of a cultural experience for some men. And therefore, ma'am, you want to have conversation to find out why your spouse, your husband, feels necessary. Mm, why he needs it, why he thinks he needs it. And then mm. to encourage him that he can free himself from this. Because many people want to be free. They don't know how to be free. That's why they, you talk to the sexual. Well, how, can, how can she help him? Sexual therapist first. Have a conversation so you can get some insights, some mm -hmm. information. It's like a, mm -hmm. it's like a mm -hmm. informational interview. So, so her husband has to be able to trust her enough 
to say this this is how I'm feeling and this is what's going on. But that's on. why you got friends first. Mm -hmm. And that's why you have communication. Mm -hmm. And that's why mm -hmm. friends help each other. Friends talk to friends about Friends talk to each other honestly mm -hmm. and say, I'm here for you. Mm -hmm. I'm in your corner. If I if if I had some issue, I would say to you, I got an issue. Mm -hmm. I need your help. I need, I need to understand it. Let, let me ask you some questions. And, right. And how you talk to each other in a kind, loving, not judgmental, not accusatory, like I'm all upset you did this to right. me. Right. Don't, don't, and sometimes no you drama. Do, you, sometimes you, you, you do have to walk, you have to be silent and pick your words very carefully. And for some, whose background is howling and screaming and, and everything, you have to change your behavior because it's going to be, it's going to be very, it, it, it will not serve you well. Nope. Because they will clam up. That's right. You know that. That's right. So you want to, you want to create an environment where your mate can start to unfold right. to you what's going on with them and how you to can work through this together. And I still go back to the question of, he might just like it. Oh, no, 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 he doesn't might just like it. He like it a lot. <laughs> the, oh, that's not a cool, you keep asking that question. That's a that's a, not a, a question. That's a reality. He like it, he liked it a lot. He like it, like it, like it. But it's not good <laughs> mm -hmm. for your marriage and for your, for your long-term security. Mm -hmm. And so I'm encouraging you, ma'am, Go to see his, get some help. Sir, if he happens, you happen to have him watching. Sir, I feel for you. I know it's challenging, but you can get past this. I've had friends who had porn addictions, but they got past it. When they made the commitment and made the decision to get help, get help. It's okay. You know, Les Brown says, getting help does not make you weak. Getting help helps to keep you strong. Mm -hmm. mm, I love that. So getting help doesn't make you weak. Getting help helps keep you strong. So I hope this show helped and answered the question that if you've not started with porn, don't. If you're in porn and you realize that you need help, talk to somebody. Get some help. And spouse, start with talking to somebody else to get as much information as you can, then talk to your spouse. And say to give you insight. You that's get, right to you, get insight. You're that's collecting right. the data right, so you can get a better understanding of, right. of what porn is, how it is an addictive thing right. for millions of people, and how do you work through it? That's before right. Before and it might be an associate, an organization like uh, AA or, or Alcoholics Anonymous or, or Gamblers Anonymous. Might be porn or not? I don't know. Was that? Did you see that in your final? Uh, let me go. Let me go down. I'm telling you, so much information. All right. Well, look. Uh, we only got a few more minutes. I wanted to address two other things. Mm -hmm. One is the day is called Columbus Day in some states uh, in America, and other places it's called Indigenous People Day. And I did a show this morning on um, my daily radio show, and I mentioned okay. about it being. I've mentioned it as Columbus Day because that the majority of the country calls it Columbus Day. And somebody said, hey, you know, in our state, we call it Indigenous People Day. Mm. And I said, you're right. But I said Columbus Day because two thirds of America still call it Columbus Day. But I did not focus. And it's on not a, it's a federal holiday. It's not even, but it's not a holiday in Maryland because the schools are open. Okay. So, so I did the show state. that said, I'm not going to dwell on this Columbus Day argument. Mm. I'm going to focus on the fact that today in Canada is Thanksgiving Day. Mm. And so I am celebrating Thanksgiving today as my Canadian friends do, but I don't have the cranberry sauce and the turkey and the ham. I have an attitude of gratitude and I'm thankful today and I'll be thankful tomorrow. I was thankful yesterday. So every day is Thanksgiving Day in my life, whether I'm in Canada, where I was a few years ago, to celebrate Thanksgiving with my Canadian real estate broker and <clears throat> client. We had their Thanksgiving dinner with their family. Or whether I'm in America, I'm grateful. And I recommend everybody be grateful. Work on your marriage, work on your relationships. Make sure to get the book, get two copies of the book. One for you and one for your significant other. Read it together. Read it together. 
and then discuss each chapter. At the end of each chapter, discuss what you learned, what you discovered about each other and about life. And then if you got some issues, I encourage you, uh, you to uh, go take our marriage repair or relationship repair series. It's at jollymarriage.com slash events. Just go and get the five part series and then a second, a sixth bonus session on communication, sex and marriage and relationship, romance, um, uh, uh, money, family, and then blended family. Okay. okay. All right. uh, quickly, mm -hmm. this is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Okay. Set up your appointment for your annual uh, breast cancer exam. And then I'm going to add, I'll have Cheryl send out or wherever we put information related to whatever the topic is, there are support groups. You asked about the support groups for um, people who are addicted to porn. And it's too long, but I will in, put it in the chat. And it one is called Betrayal Trauma Recovery. Betrayal Trauma Recovery. Uh -huh. Website is www.b as in boy, t as in Tom, r as in robert.org. Okay. btr.org. Another one is- Wait, and this one specifically supports for women dealing with their spouse's uh, pornography addiction. Oh, so ma'am, btr.org. Use that, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, and then another one is S Anon International Family Groups. And this one is- 12-step fellowship for spouses, friends, and family members affected by someone's sexual addiction. Mm. Okay, good. And then Pure Desire Ministries, uh, be Betrayal Beyond Groups. That's puredesire.org. So, 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 so we're going to, I'll summarize these and put this. And then one more, uh, celebrate recovery, celebrate recovery.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we got oh, it. And this one has many local churches host celebrate recovery groups. All right. See? So see, it's not necessary. Well, wherever you are, but you know, you, you're ashamed to go to your pastor and tell your pastor that the deacon is having issues. Some churches actually have groups. To support that's a great blessing yeah. hello olympia hope y'all had a good trip to uh france and spain world travelers world yeah. travelers that's it thank you lou for coming on and joining us we are celebrating the grandchild and thank you all for making this such a popular show globally by telling your friends your family members your co-workers you should turn in on monday tune in on monday nights or watch the replay and we want to say shout out to all the people who watch us on replay thank you please go get the book we want everybody to use this as a resource as a as a textbook on growing and re improving your marriage jollymarriage.com watch the ted talk on how to never ever argue again get the bundle Two books, two audios, two videos, and two workbooks, and it will change your life. It will change your life. Is that it? Yes, sir. Let's go. Time for us to go. Charlie out. See y'all later. Have a great week on purpose. Hope you have a good Columbus Indigenous Day and that you have a great week. Here we go with some of my music from my jazz album. You can get that on my website as well, willyjolly.com. Why do birds suddenly appear every time you are near? Just like me, they long to be close to you.